friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this totally unedited FECO surgery. The ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with bases applying few drops of Pobidone iodine. We can see this is a white cataract and the cataract is intumescent. The main step that I am going to demonstrate in this case is the capsulorexis part. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 90 degree away and only one side port is made because I am going to use a 23G Simco cannula and not bimanual for this cortical aspiration. An air bubble is injected. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. And now, this is adrenaline to maintain the dilatation of the people. The dye is nicely washed out, excess dye. The anterior chamber is then filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And after this, please be very attentive. Watch the capsular excess. If you get away with the capsular excess, the other steps of the surgery is not difficult. Take the cystitome, make a puncture at the center of the capsule and immediately write the letter C. That means, as soon as you puncture the center, rotate this tip of the cystitum in such a way that a C flap is created. Convert this C flap into a small rexus. Do not try to do a large rexus. The patient is young, a 44 year old male, and in such cases, the chances of Argentine flag sign is much more than. Uh, older patients with intumescent cataracts. See the capsular intra uh, capsular tension is reduced, intralenticular pressure is reduced by aspiratum, aspirating some lens matter. We can aspirate lens matter by bimanual irrigation aspiration also and after aspirating some lens matter, the antechamber is filled up with visco and then a small cut is made at the margin of this small rexus. We take this uh, with uterita again, hold this capsular tag and enlarge the mini rexus into an optimum size rexus. Once this is done, the surgery is easy. The nucleus is soft and we have to manage the nucleus. See how I am managing the nucleus in this case. I am going to take the nucleus manipulator going around the equator to the posterior surface and I just prolapsed one part of the equator out of the bag. I take the visco cannula, keep injecting visco and crush the lens between these two instruments. And now we are going to introduce the handpiece. Once this nucleus is prolapsed, you know, one equator is out of the bag, see how quickly it can be aspirated. Very minimal ultrasonic energy is required. In this case, I probably used only 10 or 20 percent ultrasound for a few seconds and the whole thing comes out. Now, in less than a minute, the nucleus is managed. And now, we have to remove the uh, you know, cortex. inject visco 
and I take the 23G Simcoe to remove the cortex. You can make another side port and use bimanual irrigation aspiration. When the antechamber is filled up with visco, you can go through the main wound and clean the visco for some time because the visco maintains the anterior chamber. If we lift up the anterior wall of the main wound, that also uh, causes less leakage of PSS and the anterior chamber is maintained. And now I am using the irrigating cannula to loosen the cortex and to uh, some cortical matter was attached to the posterior capsule that is also released from its on an attachment and now I am going to use the Simco through the side port. We can use your left hand and use the aspirate with your right hand. If you find this you know difficult you can make another side port and use bimanual irrigation aspiration. And now is the time to implant the lens. Hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is to be done. I am enlarging the main wound because I am using a B cartridge. The main wound which was 2.8 millimeter is enlarged to about 3.1 millimeter. And now here goes the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens and the lens goes in the back. Just by a push of the left hand instrument, you can place the lens in the back and no need of any Sinsky hook in most of the cases. And now we are going to no, close the case. So, let us recap the learning points in this case. Such cases, in such cases, intumescent cataracts and young patients, there is very high chance of rexis run out, Argentine flag sign. To reduce that, we can, if we can make a C flap, you know, as we make a puncture immediately, we write the letter C on the anterior capsule and we get a C flap. And then we convert the C into a small rexis and continue the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and sub your patients with love respect, empathy and great surgical competence.